In today's Midday Fix, a preview of the 2017 ComEd Icebox Derby. Michelle Blaze is here with some details. And two of this year's participants, we've got Topeka Ramchandani and Darren Lux here. Now, this is not the car that you built, but you've built one just like this. Yeah, so um, each team is building a car exactly like this. All right, now, do they give you instructions or you have yeah. to figure it out? So on each build day, we get like a list of instructions and by the end of the day, we should have all of them done. All right, I mean, it really inspiring, right? Really inspiring <laughs> um, for ComEd as a STEM-focused company. We really are committed to investing in the future generation of innovators and these young women, especially also while we're bridging the gender gap that exists in STEM fields. And these young women are our workforce of the future. So it's exciting for us yeah, to have them participate as well. Because when you look at the numbers, it is really depressing. I mean, there are so few women who are choosing these careers. Very, very much so. This is what we hope that they, by participating in programs like this, these young women get inspired and they see opportunities, what opportunities exist for them. They also get exposed to some of our women engineers during this program. They act as coaches. Oh, so wonderful. additional ways for them to get inspired of what, what the possibilities are that are out there for them. All right, how many people? It's just two on each team. How many on each team uh, to build this? It's five of us each on each team, and so there's 30 of us for the six teams. All right, so you have different shirts on, which means you two are <laughs> yeah. competitors here. What are the criteria for you to win? Does it, does it have to go the fastest? Does it have to be the coolest looking? Does it have to work well? What? Um, so I think uh, how race day is going to work is uh, you're going to have points deducted for stuff that you don't do mm -hmm. on each build day. So like if you're not wearing the correct safety measures when you're actually building, you could get points deducted. And then based on that, however many points you have at the end of race day is who the winner will be. Plus there's the questions that yes. they ask. After after you complete a lap, there's a STEM question you have to ask, right. which can gain you points for certain things you do in the challenge. And they have to work yeah. together as a team to, and uh, it's to all come over. up with the answers. And it's the knowledge in our books. Can you Two. think of a, a sample question? Because I'd like to see if our viewers could answer one of these <laughs> questions. Um, it was like uh, we had to know for the wiring, we had to know that uh, in the car, we had to know that the solar battery had to be solarly wired to the that battery in the front. There because that like would power the So like on the first day, we, so pretty much how um, the questions will work is how what challenges we have. So the first day we had mm -hmm. a circuit board. So one of the challenges will be pertaining to a circuit board, stuff like mm -hmm. that. When and you then, first thought about getting involved, was it a little intimidating or you're like, oh, I can do this? Um, I wasn't really expecting it to turn out how it has been. Um, it's been a really positive experience, especially with um, like uh, working with your team members and working with the other girls who are with us. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot more um, like a collaborative effort than I was expecting it to be. So for other people who are watching this or parents who are watching this, like, I want my kids to do this. This is the greatest thing. What would be your pitch to them? Do it. It's I've made so many new friends over time, even if we're not on the same team. Like we all want to meet up before school starts before the end of summer mm -hmm. and do something and it's really cool you get to learn about the wiring and the solar panels and you do get to meet amazing mentors that inspired me to go and hopefully be an engineer one day. I oh, think we have great. two future engineers. That's even more exciting for us. I, All right. I want to see you drive this car run. <laughs> and, so Topeka, the first time when it was finished, right, and you had that moment when you were going to you know, turn it on and try to drive it, were you shocked when it worked or were um, you like, was your heart beating? It was kind of cool on when we were working on the cars. Uh, one of the ways we could see if it was working or not was by pressing the horn. So uh, when the horn finally worked, it was like a moment of relief and kind right. of excitement. All right, Darren, fire off that horn. I want to hear it. Woo! It works. All right, drive this baby around. I want to see. Let's see. Look at her safety helmet on. Absolutely. Points for yes, that. Yes. Yeah. If we don't, we get docked too. All right. So I definitely. see you've taught them well. That's a good thing. Yep. No, it's outside at Daily Plaza. At Daily right? Plaza. While, while she's this, driving around, we can tell yes, people about this it. This Saturday, uh, August 12th, uh -oh. at 3 p.m. at there. Daily Plaza. Okay, so Saturday at 3 p.m. So if people want to come yeah. out and cheer on Absolutely. the um, students that are around there. Six teams, and each team gets a $1,000 scholarship for participating, and the winning team will get a notebook, laptop, what and $1,500 scholarship. <laughs> Whoa! She doesn't drive very well in the first <laughs> No, they, they only go forward in the yeah. race, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so. How far does the car have to go? They do five laps. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> what uh, a great bit of fun and such a great inspiration. Definitely. Thank you so much for being here. The Comet Icebox Derby takes place, as we mentioned, this Saturday starting at 3 p.m. at Daily Plaza if you want to go check it out. Don't go very fast.